From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. And I'm Keith Farmer. Pro Day is tomorrow. We're previewing that. Uh, you'll also hear from the guys trying to make their NFL dreams come true. But today was the eighth practice of the spring window for the current football team. And Brad White spoke to the media after that. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. When we were there Tuesday, Coach Scangarillo was a little disappointed in the way his offense performed. The defense won the day, and hey, that happens when you're just going back and forth all the time with talented players on both sides of the ball. It sounds like the coaching staff got the message across, and the offense got the win today. Those lulls are going to happen, and we had one today. You know, and it's not just day to day; it's period to period. Like one one period, the offense may smoke, and then, I, you know, they've got some inherent pride in themselves that they dig themselves out, and that happened today. Well, that's okay though, because it means the offense is pretty good, right? Coach White said that he's glad he doesn't have to go against them this fall because it really stresses defenses, especially the linebackers. It challenges you and stresses your, your run fits. And when they do it with all the different motions and, and shifts, and um, there's a lot of eye candy that creates a lot of eye violations. And, you know, it makes it harder to play linebacker, you know, because you're not exactly sure. You know, if it's pretty straightforward and clean, you just make the D lineman in front of you right. If they make a mistake, all right, I'll skip over the gap and I'll make them right. But now it's, all right, you know, I was supposed to be the front side B, but then they split back on the back side A. Well, well, they had a motion too. Now I'm back to the front side B. Oh, he got reached, so now I really got to push the C. And you think I'm joking by saying that, but that's what these guys have to process in a split second. All right, Anna, you got that, right? Uh, carry the one. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> There's also a big day tomorrow at the practice facility. Yeah, 10 players who just finished playing for the Wildcats, plus Terry Wilson, will try to impress NFL scouts at Kentucky's annual Pro Day. Something that has given all these guys a leg up this year is that both sides of the ball run NFL concepts at Kentucky now. Now that's been the case with Brad White's defense since he got here. And Wondell Robinson says coming to UK to run an NFL offense last year under Liam Cohen really made a difference for him. It's a big help. Um, teams are definitely like you ran NFL concepts before you ran some of the concepts, concepts that we run. Um, and then even being able to, in interviews, being able to speak the same terms and um, do the things like that, it's just a big plus. But if you're one of those people that dream of going to the combine, you're going to go. And whenever you sit in those interviews and things, you want to be able to understand what the coaches are talking about. Um, and obviously this past year helped me a big, in a big way, um, just about every meeting room I was in. And I was able to understand what was going on just because I've been in that pro style scheme before. Um, and this place just allows you to grow as a person. I mean, there's, there's really good people here. Uh, and so it doesn't get much better than that. So White's defense is the trendy style to play in the NFL now. That base 3-4 with versatile defensive linemen on the edge. Like Wandale, Josh Pascal expects to hear his name called early in the draft, maybe in the second or third round. He proved he can go through issues out of his control by beating cancer early in his career and then coming back to be a team captain for three straight seasons. The only Wildcat to earn that. Now he's fully healthy after missing the bowl game. He also went through the NFL Combine and is just hoping to solidify what he already showed the scouts in Indianapolis. So I had the opportunity to play outside linebacker and then play defense in my last two years here. So I had a lot of versatility coming into the NFL as far as uh, this whole process goes. And the more that you can do, the more valuable you are. Like whatever team drafts me, they're going to get a leader. Um, that's something that, that I do. I'm, I can change locker rooms and I will change locker rooms. Um, I'm going to go there and I'm going to compete and I'm going to work my butt off each and every day. And that's something that I won't shy away from. It doesn't matter the circumstances. Um, I'm going to come in every day and give them all. Seven of the ten players going through Pro Day already have the chance to interact with NFL personnel at the Combine. Yeah, but there are three others who are hoping to show they're good enough to catch the eye of the scouts. That makes tomorrow's Pro Day extra important for guys like Quandre Mosley and Justin Rick. What sets me apart from other tight ends is that I think I'm a great blocker. I think I can do everything. I think I can be very versatile. Uh, but I feel like the thing that's going to make me stand out is the blocking that I've done over the years, and I think that's going to help push me to the next level. And you have to think Rig has shown enough on tape that someone 
is going to give him a chance, you know, even if he doesn't get drafted. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Josh Ali is in a unique situation as well. Remember, he got in a car accident before the bowl game, so he hasn't played since late November. And that injury that kept him out of the Citrus Bowl, well, it turns out it included a torn ACL. Yeah, he's still rehabbing, but he said today that he is ahead of schedule. He has started running again, so that's positive. He won't be able to physically do much tomorrow, but he'll do what he can. I'm there to, you know, talk to agents and, you know, just support all my guys that's participating in Pro Day, uh, especially Wandell. And, uh, you know, if I have to spot if I have to spot catch with Terry, you know, I'll do that too. So, you know, whatever's going to make them those guys, you know, Pro Day is as better as it can be. You know, I'm just there for support and, uh, you know, just talk to scouts and tell them my progress and stuff like that. Man, I love that. As selfless as always. And Keith, how cool that two years later he could be catching balls from Terry Wilson again. Yeah, Justin Rigg kind of talked about that today too. You know, how he's been working out with Terry Wilson. He says just like uh, nothing changed, even though they were apart for about a year and a half. And we'll have complete coverage from Pro Day coming your way tomorrow night. So make sure you're back with us at 730. We'll have more from all of this year's participants, plus the experts and a whole lot more. And if all of this is making you pumped for football season, make sure you have those tickets secured. If you're renewing season tickets, the deadline is tomorrow, April 1st, so get that done. <laughs> you can renew through your My UK account or by going to UKAthletics.com slash tickets. And stay right there because we have more football talk still ahead. When we come back here from the Wildcat, who might be the first one taken in next month's draft. It's our sit-down interview with Darian Kennard right after this.